That's a good stick work right there. That's number 24. That's Vanessa Upson. And Robert Morris will build, but a great job right there on the intercept. It's Peterson out in front, shot! Block it away! What a save by Maggie Hatch there. That two arms here able to, uh, to take some step back. Just get a, uh, oh, nice yeah. chance there. Yeah, a little trouble right there with it from the goaltender. And Robert Morris now will look to set up. Sends across. Shot out in front, Pat, save another one, and it's blockered away. Robert Morris trying to set something up. Mercyhurst trying to, de to, to deny. Schooley sends a pass out in front. Battle for Pucks it. Up. It's Pucks somewhere. Loose. It's saved, made by Nystrom. Mercyhurst now trying to counter. Mercyhurst will set up. Moving the puck around. Pass out in front. That Hatch back, able to get a pad on it. That backdoor option looking to hit Chantel Chequois. Obviously Hatch able to get her leg and break that play up. There's a shot from the point that Hatch shuts the door on. I believe that's Mahomey. Mahoney, excuse me. There's a shot that's off the pads of Hatch. She will cover up. Obviously as this Man advantage winds down the... Shot score! What a goal. I was just saying how the Lakers were going to look and uh, start shooting the puck more, not looking for the perfect shot, just looking for shots. And that is... Uh, Olivia Savar with the slap shot goal. H.A. Robert Morris now has an opportunity. It's Primu. Quick. Shoots and it's blocked out in front. Excellent recovery right there by Sophia Lejeune. 2.35 left to play here in period number one. Colonials down 1 0 after the slap shot goal by Olivia Savar. 7 to 7 in even right now in faceoffs one. The Colonials seem to win those defensive zone faceoffs, but just can't win anything in the offensive zone. Down in, in the middle, that's Cromer. The pass was just too far ahead. Schooley looks to clear but can't do so, Peterson to it. Minute Last minute to play here in period one. Pass out in front, shot over the net. Colonials will clear all the way down. They proved to be deadly in the first. I, uh, I'm eager to see what the Colonials fix about their shorthanded play here. And uh, let's see what the Lakers can cook up with the, uh, the advantage here. That's out in front, and I believe that caught a piece of, of Hatch. It goes in. It was a busted play out in front of the net, and Mercyhurst quickly, just 15 seconds into their power play, get the goal. You can watch. I think it's Boucher on the left side of the net from our vantage point here. Takes that just out in front, goes to back. You can't force a reverse or anything like that. You need to just turn and pass to a winger and start moving forward and up ice. Primu had that shot blocked, and now it's a battle for the puck. Race for it. It's Boucher, backhander. That's sticked away by Hatch. Another chance out in front. The Colonials try to swarm. Hatch ends up with the puck. Great play by Massiman. That one, she spearheads the puck out of the zone as well. There's a dump in here for Mercyhurst. Pass out in front. Colonials do a good job shutting that off, and now they will try to start a rush, but... Just like the second period has entailed, Mercyhurst quickly shuts it down. McKay to the far side. Gets it back. Loses it, and it goes to the corner. We're an awaiting Mercyhurst player. And gets sticked away behind Hatch. That puck just sitting there waiting for somebody to win it. McKay has an opportunity out in front, but Maggie Hatch says no with her glove. They work around the puck. And there's a battle for it at center. It's won by Robert Morris. What a move by Morgan Giannone. There's a shot from the point. That goes right into the bread basket of Nystrom. Snow tried to move in, but she was met by a couple of Mercyhurst players. And now Mercyhurst again back on the attack. But that pass too far out in front. And now the Colonials have an opportunity to catch Mercyhurst changing. Pass out in front, backhander that missed the net. Courtney Hall, death. That was awfully close to a high stick, but it wasn't called. 
Colonials enter the zone. Primu a shot, blocked into the netting. And we will get a stoppage with 11.09. They've done a I good can, job I can here. surely believe that one and see why here today. As these... Uh, Puck gets thrown onto the net. Nystrom, though, puts her glove over the puck. McKay, full head of steam, racing in. Drops it off to Long. Shoot, save made by Hatch. And West game, get it moving from left to right. See if you can open anything here on Maggie Hatch and the defenders. Pass across, that was an excellent opportunity, but the Colonials defense stands strong. Final seconds of this power play. Slap shot, score! And there's that east and west. As I'm saying, the puck is coming east, and you want to send it back west before Hatch can get set. A one-timer again. We approach the final minute here in period number two. There's an out, a long outlet pass trying to be trying to be found by Primo. Unfortunately, could not get there. Turnover. Johansson shoots. Scores off the turnover. That's a play that you just, as a Colonial, you cannot send a soft one through the middle. Be the case. If you do like Colonial hockey, great dish at, there by Shaylin Snow. There's a shot saved ba made by Nystrom. Phillips is entering the zone one on five yeah. with the Lakers. I mean, it just seems it, it's very hard to get something going in, in a situation like that. Turnover, Javier shoots it. It is covered up by Gorski. East or west of the Mississippi is going to call that 10 times out of 10. Oh, Mercyhurst going on their fourth power play of the day. Suvar goes into the corner. Pass out in front. It's blocked away by the Colonials, but Suvar using her body well to regain possession, skating into the middle. Shoots and it scores. And it trickled in and just like that, it is five nothing Mercyhurst. You know, I was waiting for a dump so I could say if you're the Colonials, your, your only goal right now is to kill off this two minutes. You can't worry about, you know, be and now there's a battle for it. Can't clear the Colonials. That puck still kept in. Two on one, out in front, Boucher, and they score again. There is a reason that this line is located at the very top of Mercyhurst's season point standings, and you just saw it. I mean, a phenomenal five, five player effort. Colonials will look to recharge. Rice, airing it in, but can't do so successfully. Now it's turned into a two on one. Johansson back to Johansson, an excellent defensive job right there to the point. It'll be dumped back in. That pass down in front, Putafon with an excellent pass, but GM Petro couldn't find it on the shot. That's the one along the near side. Colonials win that battle. There's just no passing lanes to get through as that pass goes out to Putafon. She'll shoot, it's blocked. Udafant sends it across to Thompson. She rips one and it's tipped in and scores! The Jill Colonials get on the board! Jillian Thompson, we were just talking about rebuilding that empire that we had. Jillian Thompson, one of three players on this uh, Colonials team that was here previously to the teams getting, uh, you know, taken away. This penalty will carry out for the rest of the game as we are just approaching on a minute left. There's a shot that was slightly fanned on by Shaquay. As we hit the last minute of play. There's one minute left now in the penalty, so it will be five on four. For the rest of the time, shot save made by Gorski. 20 seconds left here in period number three. Peterson with it. Surveying will shoot. That misses the net. Javier quickly to the puck. It might have been blocked. Javier surveying. Shoot save made by Gorski. A couple of taps on her.